In this video, we're going to take a look at how you would go about using the numeric solver to solve an equation in quadratic form. So this could be an actual quadratic equation or just an equation in quadratic form. Now something you need to realize about the graphing calculator is that it is limited to solving for only one solution at a time. So therefore, if you've got a quadratic equation, you should realize that you're probably going to have two answers, and so you're going to have to hunt for them individually. All right, I am going to assume that you have a little bit of knowledge with this numeric solver. It is located in the math menu, so you can press math. The fastest way to get there would be to arrow up to get to your numeric solver there. So let's select that. Now, whatever equation you used last in your equation solver will still remain there. So for this first example, let's go ahead and clear that out and put in our x squared. And arrow down, clear that out, and put in our 5x minus 6. All right, then I'm going to press OK at that point. OK, now, at this point, it's wanting you to guess at to what the solution is. So obviously, I have already over here in this example worked it out by factoring, and I know my two solutions are 2 and 3. All right, if I don't know that ahead of time, all right, I might just start randomly guessing numbers. If I guess, like, say, an 8, and then I hit Solve, it finds the 3 because my 8, my guess, was closer to that 3. Now, if I guess again another positive number, if I would guess maybe, say, 12, all right, and then press Solve, well, it finds the 3 again because you're picking values that are closer to that solution of 3. In order to make that calculator find the 2, I would recommend picking a negative number. So almost every time on this, I would probably pick a negative number and a positive number in trying to find your two solutions. Because here we are back at my guess, so if I put in maybe say a negative 7, and then I hit solve, then there it finds the 2. Alright, so since you won't know what the solutions of these are, that's the whole point, you're using the calculator to solve it, I would recommend a positive, putting in a positive number and putting in a negative number to see what happens. All right, now over here on the second example, which is just in an equation in quadratic form, let's go put that in and play with that for a little bit. If I hit math and then arrow up, I'm getting back to that numeric solver. Now let's clear that out and put in our x raised to the fourth. And clearing out the second part of that, 8x squared and then plus 9. Okay, and hitting OK. All right, now we're back to the guess. Now here again, I have worked this out using a U substitution method. I realize that I've got plus or minus 3 as an answer, and I've got plus or minus i, which are your imaginary solutions to this. Okay, the graphing calculator will not find the imaginary solutions, and I'll show you what happens if you try to find those. Okay, but uh, here again, let's say yeah, I get a plus or minus 3. It does have a positive and a negative one. So if I do a guess of maybe, say, negative 9, and then solve it, it finds the negative 3, which is good. Now let's say then I would guess a positive number, a random positive number, so let's guess 7 and solve again, and it finds 3. All right, and if you tried another positive number of 12 and hit solve, it still only finds that 3. Now I do want to show you if you try to find those imaginary ones, like um, because our calculator does have an I, so let's just see what it's going to do. If I do second and then I and put the I in there and then I try to solve. See, it gives me a data type error there. It's not going to allow us to find those imaginary roots. Um, but you can definitely find your real solutions. Okay, so just um, a couple examples there of how you can use that numeric solver to solve um, an equation in quadratic form. Definitely think, uh, hope that this has helped you. Uh, be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.